Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. Sorry we're so late. We got stuff to do. And we got it done. So yeah, yeah we're here. So green, no. Not no, green no, leaf. Nope. Queen Sugar. One yeah. of these got doing two, <laughs> two word um, you messed shows. up already, buddy. Yeah, that's how tired I am. But it said my soul's high song. I think it should have been everybody frustrated. Yeah. Everybody ready to fight. The crop is bucked up. <laughs> Way bucked up. <laughs> so we start off the episode where we actually see Micah growing more and more frustrated as time goes on. Mm -hmm. And it was this little scene where, you know how Blue is. Blue Blue does no wrong in anyone's eyesight until today. And he don't set up there and he don't drew on Micah's... Um, it was either his school work or a school book or something yeah, like probably that. Probably keep. Yeah, so that was the first thing we saw. And <laughs> I said, this is going to go downhill really, really quick. So then we flip over and we see Hollywood. Hollywood is over at the house. And I said, I know exactly what this is. If this ain't Stanley mm -hmm. all over again, <laughs> it drives me insane because this dude right here cannot sit still. He always got to be fixing something that ain't broke. It's, it, it's called being... <laughs> productive not if you just making up stuff to do i mean when you a homeowner it's always stuff to do so i said hollywood getting on by nerves like stanley get on my god doing nerves to shit down the garbage disposal is fine he said he said where's that to do list i know you forgot something on it where that to do she list? said the only thing i want you to do is these thighs well that ain't what she said but that's basically <laughs> what she said and she said listen here Relax, drink this beer, go listen to you some spirituals if you need to, but I got to go to work. And he's sitting over there. I said, this ain't going to last too long with mm -hmm. old Hollywood. Uh-uh. No, well, Hollywood's so boy, he ended up going over to the high yellow, <laughs> messing with her all over again. Now, she trying to do her work, and he over there just all up in her business. She over there talking to one of her good, good girlfriends because she just had um, a grandbaby. She said, honey, I named him Isaiah, but just in case that nigga ain't safe for real, we're going to get him Christian in a couple of days. Can you <laughs> bake me some pies? And she said, you know what? When I leave here, I don't want to see no pie. I don't yeah, want to see no eggs. I don't want to see no more. bacon. I don't want to see none of that right there. Matter of fact, after I leave here, I fast. So, no, I'm not <laughs> making you no pie. Hollywood talking about something. <laughs> I can help uh, you make them pies. I've been seeing you make a thousand pies. I can do that and be like... No, I'm playing. That ain't the same, bro. It don't work. I done watched my grandma make a thousand <laughs> pies and a thousand cakes, and I can't make near yeah. one like her. The only person that can do it was as crazy as hell. My brother. My That's brother right. can bake the hell out of a pound cake. And I'm sitting here like, brother, dog. So the lady was like, okay, I'm fine. So you're going to say no to these two faces like the. <laughs> I said, Hollywood, see, when you get home, you're going to get a bus right in your goddamn door. But face. I knew what was going to happen. I did too. I knew exactly what's gonna happen. So when well, I get home, he and they just wrecking the guy. Everything. I mean, up. everything is toe up. Flour everywhere. <laughs> dough everywhere. Cake icing everywhere. <laughs> see, really, really <laughs> dope. So then we see Charlie. Charlie is over at the um, Queen Sugar Mill. You know, she's having a talk with all the people that's involved in being a part of the sugar mill, those that's going to come over and bring their business over to the mill. And she's basically giving them a rundown of how effective it's going to be, this, that, and the third. Blah, 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 blah. She gets a phone call. Well, did she get a phone call there? No. No. So basically, you know, she got everybody on board, kind of, sort of. I, I wanted to address that. Yeah. But it, it almost seemed like every time she getting with them, she got to continue to sell them on the idea. When they already say yeah? Yeah. So they already said yeah at the first meeting. Like, we on board. We with you. We got your back. But now, all of a sudden, every meeting, she got to resell the idea all over again. They, ah, looks good. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. They're like, do y'all want in or no? Or no. <laughs> <laughs> For real. So it came a time where Charlie was like, you know what? I got to get my own place. You know, you know, I got to do me. I got to have me a spot. So if I want to get a little one, two, three piece. I ain't got Ralph Angel and Blue over the next room listening to me put his, you know, talking about son. So she goes out with Remy and I'm jumping forward a little bit because it's all going to tie together. Trust me. Walk with me. Like they say, like the preacher say, walk with me, walk with me. <laughs> and um, she goes to look at this place. The first place she wanted to to actually get, the person decided, hey, I like my place too much to move. So they stayed. That don't pisses you off too. Yeah, we've had that happen before. And then she went to this other place. 
she decided to take Remy along because she was like, listen, you real good with second opinions. So let's, you know, let's go. Let's see it. They get there. And it looked like something that belonged in Miami. Like, it just seemed so out of place uh -huh. for where she is. Bad as hell from what I could see. Yeah, it looked good. And Remy is looking good. like... She like, this This is this is too much. This is bulls kid right here. They named off four bedrooms. They named off master suites. They uh, named home off theater. home theaters. And this is what I like about Remy, even though I still got a kind of a slight distrust for him. I don't know why. Usually when I say that, I'm right. Um, but he did tell her, he said, listen... I don't think this house is a good move for you right now. Mm -hmm. And she was like, why not? He was like, you're trying to gain the trust of people that already are doubting you. You want people to invest in something that's new for us as a black community. Do you really want to be flossing like, like this, this in front of these people? When they drive to the sugar mill, they get to see your mansion on a thousand hills. Yeah. And she was like, so... Why is it that white people can live like this and not be questioned, but me being a black person live like this and not be questioned? And I get what she was saying. I really, truly do. Mm -hmm. But like he was saying, you're already at a disadvantage. Don't feed them yeah. what they already are thinking. Like, oh, she just want to get more of my yeah, money. Yeah, she using me to get rich. Yeah. Even though they already know she is rich. But, but that's you, uh, that, that's the nature. But that it's is a, it's it, the nature of the beast. I mean, it's really the nature of the beast. Is it's kind of hard to to be that person, you know? Cause she, like he said, they taking a whole lot of risk. So if they end up broke and she living large, they gonna say, "Well, you use me." Yeah. Which I wish it wouldn't be true, but. And then Remy even said he was like, "You need to scale back, and maybe you can save some money on the rent. So if something happens at the mill, you have that margin there that you can play with. Yeah. Other than being overextended, you know how we do sometimes. We be overextended mm -hmm. in our credit. Then when we go get the car, they be like, "Well, you can only afford a hundred and fifty dollar month car, but you want a four hundred dollar month car." We, and they be like, mm -mm. "It's something that we knew a person. I was um teaching a, a get out of debt class one day." And this person oh my God. said that they were struggling. Then I said, go down what you got. They said, I got a freaking cable box in every room. I got like three car payments. I got rent. I got this. I got that. And I got all that because I got to have the best. And I said, you going to stay broke. <laughs> because the best is not what you can afford yeah. right now. So we 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 were um like on um white man can't jump. He said a black man rather look good and lose <laughs> than look bad and win. win. That is so true. Ain't that a mess? <laughs> look, change it starts here, then here. Yeah. So then we see over there there at the um over there where Ralph Angel and I'm at, like like Kevin Hart said. <laughs> had to snap it back in. Where they was at, and they noticed that the crop ain't look right. Prosper said, mm-mm. Something ain't right. Something in the water and clean. Went on over there and they got done white flies all yeah. over the freaking sugar cane. 30 acres worth. I said, that's a lot. I live on an acre we and a half. half. Can you imagine? And we just on a, we just got and we only cleared we half, half of that. Half of that. We still got another <laughs> half of that half behind yeah. us that I ain't gonna clear. <laughs> and I'm like, you take that and times that by 30? Chow! So they ended up having to call Charlie and they got her on FaceTime and they told Charlie, listen, this is the problem that we're facing. I was proud of Ralph Angel because you know Ralph Angel usually just do what he do. Don't talk to nobody. Yeah. And then if it backfires, then everybody got to come and help him fix it. But they actually sat there and he told her, and this is when he let um, Charlie know, look, I can help pay for this. I got the micro loan check today. She says, you know what, Ralph Angel? No, that's for your soybean. Let me go ahead and take care of it because it's going to cost $5,000 for them to spray to get rid of these freaking flies. And that ain't make it bad, though. It's that after it got sprayed. That's the part. They had to clean all that booze get by hand. Prosper said, I got this solution right yeah. here. Dawn Vinegar. Some lemon got, juice. This, got this Vaseline right here, so they get on again, they'll get stuck, but they won't be able to leave. That's how they do on our legs. See, we country. We use Vaseline on our body. That's why we don't be so wrinkled. I was like, 
Dang, man, you have to spend all that money and you still had to do because you remember first they said it was going to pretty much pull all the bad stuff out by hand. Yeah. I said, look, so they realized, look, we need to recruit some troops. Yeah. We got to get everybody up in here. Raphael had called Dollar, told Dollar, say, hey, if you can get here, get here. Well, her boss told her not to go, but she showed up over there anyway. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about that in God knowing a minute because I knew it was going to happen. But that was a powerful scene, though. It was a powerful scene. It was a powerful scene. Look, they called Hollywood. Hollywood ain't want to leave on by. Uh, but I was like, if you don't get the hell out of mm -hmm. here, God don't leave me in my past to be. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, go. So he went on over there to help. So you know they're getting the old pro they're getting the prosper um education on, on how to do it, dip it, do whatever, blah blah blah. Next thing we know, they start picking with Charlie. They was like, Oh Charlie, get on somewhere. We don't want you to mess up your manicure and all that <laughs> stuff. Cause by this time, Charlie, Ralph Angel, Michael, and Blue don't have a freaking run in. Mm -hmm. What had happened was and it was innocent. Yeah, but you know, was, Micah, yeah. like I said, his frustration is growing. Yeah. Micah was sitting at the table with his back turned blue, being blue, mm -hmm. ran up behind him to scare him, and he kind of brushed him. Yeah. But when he brushed him, he fell up against he, the wall. It was more reaction at the end of the day. Yeah. You know how when a child fall down, they uh -huh. hit the head, and when you say, <gasps> then they, <gasps> but if you don't like, say nothing, they'll cry like you done tore them up. That's why my nieces and stuff fall. I'd be like, don't react to that. And so if don't you don't react to it, they just be like, sit down there. They thugs. <laughs> I gotta go see them munchkins tomorrow. Yep. So, um, next thing we know, because Michael don't got on blue and made blue fall down, Ralph Angel don't yoked him up by the guy mm -hmm. neck, and now him and Charlie are at arms. Mm -hmm. They out there in the field, everybody can sense the dead on tension. You can feel it and you can cut it with a knife. He told Charlie, listen, you can go ahead and do what you need to do. Us, um, us field Negroes, we got this under control now. <laughs> I said, you know what, Ralph Angel, that ain't funny. <laughs> so then when the rest of them was out there picking with her about her manicure, that ain't making no battle. So she asked Nova, Nova, hey, am, am I, I a bougie bee? Yeah, no, I don't no. think you're bougie bee. She I told her that. Lie. You lied too, because you told her she was. Because she was like, you told me that. Ralph Angel said some stuff. Uh, freaking Remington said some stuff. <laughs> so she was like, well, okay, what up? She was like, so did Ralph Angel say something to you? She said, yeah, we got into it. You know, I think I'm gonna need my own space. And she was like, nah, I ain't going nowhere. I ain't gonna let Ralph Angel run me up out of my own place. Daddy left this for all of us. She said, yeah, you ain't no bougie bee. Yeah, huh? That's, that's the hood right that's there. That's a hood move right there. You ain't gonna <laughs> run me up out of my own stuff. I said, here we go with them two. So they ended up getting the stuff cleaned up as much as possible for the time being. Yeah. Unvi shows up and she notices that Charlie and Ralph Angel ain't getting along. So she's like, what the hell's going on right yeah, here? Yeah, what's going right? on with y'all two now? I thought y'all was good. And Unvi was like, listen, y'all gonna have to learn to get along. Daddy left this for all of y'all. Ralph Angel decided like, to go ahead and hit the like, punch. Uh -uh, uh -uh. I thought he was gonna do it last week, but he saved it. Rabbi Angel said, listen, that ain't lead them skit. I found a letter. Mm -hmm. And the letter said he left all this for me and Blue. Mm -hmm. uh, I was like, well, come again? Yeah, let me in. And she read that letter. She said, mm-mm, this you is bad. Yeah, this is bad. You don't want to do this right here. I said, woo. She said, what she said? Said, don't let your pride and your mouth cause you to write a check that, that you ain't way, ready to cash. That your way can't cash. And, and she's so right. Hello. She, is, she is so right. Because what if all this had happened? Yeah. <laughs> Bless you. And you didn't have Charlie's backing. That $5,000 would have came out of yep. your way. Then you wouldn't have had no money for your soybean. Yep. So I'm sitting here like, this This ain't right. Yeah, I know what the will say. But in real, in real life, you still need the funding from Charlie. And this could be big for all of y'all. So well, Shut up for now. Yep. But he bet it's that but, power play, though. Yeah, the power play and the pride, and she been been picking on him, so that's all he got. Yeah, don't do it. So then we see Nova. Y'all remember when um this came back on? She had these two scarves that she wrapped up, and she gave them to her friend. Well, the friend don't had these here babies, and them babies is the biggest newborn twins I have seen. My uh -huh. God, doing like well, it looked like they were both thirty five pounds. 
So she's doing a, like a cleansing ritual, um, a purity ritual over the babies, basically. You know how that go. Another form of baptism, basically. Yeah, they being blessed for life. Yeah, being blessed for life. So she's doing that. And we actually saw the scars and she wrapped them in scars, whatever. And the girlfriend was like, listen, Nova, you're a natural at this. Your dad's gone now. Have you ever thought about having a family of your own? And she was like, I got raw. I got blue. I got all, I got my I got, boys. My hands is tied. I got the fight going on. I, I, can't, I ain't got time. Uh -huh. I ain't got time. She was like, listen. You need to make time for whatever's gonna make <laughs> Nova happy, and I say you better going on up back up there too to Georgia uh -huh. and find that old Mister Dubois <laughs> and see if he make you happy, cause we ain't forgot about him. No, indeed. So uh, what else happened? I ain't gonna go over everything like I said. Um. Oh Lord Jesus, Micah and Charlie are in the kitchen, and she's talking about them getting ready to move. Blah 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 blah. There's a knock on the door. And you could see Micah's whole face break. He was lying. I said, oh, skit. Cops, cops. Uh -huh. First thing I thought about, I said, that robbery. Season one, episode one. Yeah. That robbery. Lord, they come back to get him. Because that's still going to come back and get him, y'all. At some point, they still so? come back and get him. So next thing we know, they asked for Ralph Angel. And they said, we, we're here because of a parole violation. I said, what the hell he do? And then immediately, I said, I they got no gun. gun. Yep. Well, you know them Landrys don't call and sit them people up or over them there. You know, they the same folk. And this is when Charlie came in to God door and saved the day and I was yeah. here for it. She said, hold on, hold on. That gun, my pops left that for me. I'm down here from California. I'm not used to these rats and rodents and all of that. I don't see how y'all do, do it. it. <laughs> you know, and he was like, but that's still a parole violation. She said, I'm so sorry. It's me. I'll be gone tomorrow. I will take my gun with me. He didn't have nothing to do with it. And she's just flirting and she's finessing. And I said, that's the same thing that, um, Davis West had to do to get your son out of jail. Yep, so now same. you see how this works. That's how Charles. it works. Yep. Sometimes you got to finesse some ego. Sometimes you got to show, bring it on down a little bit, bring it on down, <laughs> and push them jokers up. Sometimes you got to do that to get out of a ticket, you know, when you're doing like 75 and a 55, something like that. <laughs> I wouldn't know, but I heard that it works. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what she did. And they said, you know what? Go ahead and make sure you be more careful around these pods. And yeah, and make sure you take that gun with you tomorrow. I said, woo. -hoo. Yeah, because he was, yeah. That, he was gone. He was gone. He was going back to prison. So Ralph Ager told Charlie, you know, Charlie, thank you. And she said something almost had me in my feelings yeah. for a little bit. She said, Ralph Ager, I don't care what you think of me, and I don't care how bad and bougie you think I am. I ain't never going to ever not have, have your, your back. back. And I said, Whoo. And he said, you know. I'm sorry about what happened between me and um, Micah and all this stuff. And he eventually went in there and he talked to Micah. And he told Micah, he said, listen, when you were born, you were like a little brother to me. You know, yeah. but we weren't able to grow up together. You were in California. I was here. And I don't really know you. But please know that I'm your uncle, basically. Yeah, and you can talk, talk to me, me about anytime. anything. And he said, what you have to understand is once you get locked up, they treat they they basically transform you into an animal. You learn animal instincts. Every but when you get out here, we have to learn that we're real people. So I apologize for what I did. Yeah. And Michael was like, you know, I would never hurt Blue, and he said, I know that. And basically, you know, they made amends with yeah, it. Yeah, squashed it. Yeah. And then he goes in there and he talks to Blue, and he tells Blue, you know, I'm sorry, I'll never hit you again. And and Blue was like, well. I didn't ask you if it was time to play. And he said, you don't ever have to ask me if it's time to play. I overreacted. It's fine. And he gave him this, like this art set so, for yeah. him in Kenya to play. And all is well in the neighborhood mm -hmm. once again. How I, it always happens in all families. You, all the time. You have a fallout. And a couple of days later, everybody hugging, kissing, man. I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean it. It happens. It, it happens all too yep. often. So then we see Unvi and Hollywood, they laying in the bed and she doing her nightly um, lotioning up because that's how you keep the wrinkles away and keep that stuff, that skin popping. <laughs> so this is what was, I got a life lesson out of this. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you did not. I did. Basically, they're talking about life now and the future 
and your ultimate goals and dreams. Mm -hmm. And he's like, you know what? I fixed everything I can fix. I tried to help you make some pies. I need to go fi find me a job because he is not used to not doing anything. Mm -hmm. And she said, you just need to relax. You got money in the bank. I said, thank you. Because and you got like, money coming. And you got money coming. I said, how? Where you come from? Yeah. Let me in on that. Ain't so no pyramid must, scheme. So he must got some investment money coming. I said, thank you, them, Hollywood. Them, them dividends <laughs> and that interest. That's God. So she said, sit back and relax. And she was like, you know, I'm living my dream. You know, he said, you're not living your dream. Mm -hmm. He said, when I saw you today, that was all frustration. I see you the happiest when you're in your no kitchen, kitchen doing your thing. And I sat there and I said, isn't it funny how when someone asks us about our dreams, our goals, and where we see ourselves in 5, 10, 20 years, we can't answer that question. Mm -hmm. And it's like, we can sit there and work our fingers to the bone, making someone else's dream a reality. Mm -hmm. But we don't do that for ourselves. Nope. And that's basically what um, what um, Aunt Vi was saying. She was like, we've made it normal for people to make us believe that we have to work. And basically until work. we shut our eyes. Uh -huh. And who said that that was right? It is not right. It's a myth. <laughs> it is so much a myth. Like it's when I, myth. I tell people all the time, I say, I'm never going to retire. It's just not going to happen. And they were like, girl, now nah, you got them. You, and you young. I said, don't put that on me. Me yeah. and you are different. So I ain't got to work to the bone until I'm 65. I do what I got to do now so that I can rest later Same. and have fun and play. Be so. And so I can be, look, so I can be out of shape on the beach with my stomach hanging out. Hey. I just say when you know better, you do better. You can do better. You can do better because yeah. you don't always do better just because you, know, you better. know better. Yeah, we know a whole lot of people like that. So I said, oh, Hollywood started thinking and Von Vi started he had to eat her own words too. She was like, hmm. Yeah. So I said, you better open up that kitchen and start selling you some goddamn some fish pie, plates. Uh, uh huh, some pie, pie. Some pound cakes. Because he was like, yeah, she was like, you mean start my own business? He was like, yeah, you're talking uh -huh. like you can't do it. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Everybody can do it. Yeah. Starting a business is easy. It really is. It is. It's it, really we easy. make it hard because we overthink it. Yeah, you overthink it. If it's your passion, go you're for already it. doing it anyway. Yeah, so you, you might, just don't know it. Mm -hmm. So you might well go and make it official and go on about your business. Get legal and you good. Hello. So then we see Charlie. Now, what Remy said, it hit home uh -huh. and she actually listened. Well, we see her at Queen Sugar Mill and I said, What the hell is she doing? Well, she is going to move into Queen Sugar Mill. Everybody's trying to help her get some things together, whatever. And <laughs> she's concerned because she said, Mike, I know this ain't what you used to. He said, uh -huh. I think it's funny because I won't see how long oh, you going to be here. Yeah. And he told her, he said, how long y'all think mama going to be here before she loses it and leave? They said, one week. One day. <laughs> one month. Um, I said, well, when you done, you can come on back over to the house. Just let me know in advance <laughs> so I can tell Hollywood to put the drawers out. I said, you know what? So now we see the old Micah starting to come back around. Yeah. He's joking and all that. I said, all right, let's do it. Yeah, we back. You back. We see Dollar go to her job. And I see her boss. And he had her last check in his hand. And mm -hmm. he said, listen, you're fired. I took and told you not to go. And you went ahead and went anyway. Now she's like, but this job is a part of my um my recovery. My recovery. And he said, so is accountability. So I said, that's all, Lord. Now we're going to have a, a cracked out dollar again. If she don't hurry and find her a job. Well, we said in the preview that, that she said, I got a job. My Ralph Ancha ain't look too happy. Yes, I don't know what kind of job that's going to be. I don't know. So it well, wasn't, this wasn't the best episode, but it was pretty good. I like that it has, it had those life lessons in there. Yeah, and everybody. The life, the life lessons of uh, people need to come together to help each other. And uh, we need to live our dream. Mm -hmm. And we need to bring the family back together yeah. again. I'm going to just say, live your dream and don't settle for your nightmare. Ooh, and on that note, straight from, from the, the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two, two up, two, two down. Holla.